So in this video, we're gonna talk about the Godot game engine, which is really unusual for me since I talk about hacks game engines and Godot doesn't use hacks, right? I mean, it uses C Sharp, GD Script, and even C++. Well, that, my friends, has all changed with a release of something called Hacks Godot. So as you can see, with this library, you can actually use the Hacks programming language to make a Godot game. For those of you who have never heard of Hacks before and don't know what it is, this is its website, and I've spoken about hacks many times on my channel. Feel free to check out some videos to get a better understanding, but essentially it's a language that compiles into another language. So in the case of Godot, the code that's written in hacks will compile to C Sharp, which will be used in the Godot game engine. And if you want to see an example of what a Godot game looks like in hacks, well, there's one here. So this is the file structure. I haven't used Godot before, so I don't know how similar this is to a Godot game. But of course, if I go into scripts, you can see the extension is hx. So going into main, the language is much different from GD script. It's similar to TypeScript. And if you're a fan of hacks, this is great news. I'll put these links in the description for you to go through in your own time and get a better understanding of what's going on. But essentially, this repo is the tutorial game for Godot, which shows you how to make this 3D simple game. Now, you're probably thinking, why on earth would I use hacks to make a game in Godot, especially when there are some great game engines out there for hacks, like HacksFlixel and Heaps? Well, for starters, I think it opens up possibilities in the sense that you can write your game in hacks, and because hacks compiles to other languages, you can use the same helpers from project to project in different game engines or different environments. So for example, I don't know if you've seen this before, I've made a video about it, which I'll link in the description, but the team that made Spellbreak used Unreal to make it, but they wrote the game in hacks so that they could use the code from hacks in their node network server and they wouldn't have to write two different languages. They use hacks for the game, which compiles to C++ for Unreal, and the same helpers can be used in the network because it will transpile to JavaScript for node on their, on their server environment which is great news for those who want to make games in Godot because they can write their game in hacks, but also if they want to move it to Unity, they can use the same helpers or the same bits of core logic. They can put it into Unity, they can put it into Unreal, or they can put it into a hacks game engine. So as you can tell, I'm really excited by this news. I'm actually looking forward to trying out making my first game in Godot using hacks, and I hope you are too. Thanks for watching. If you wanna know more about hacks or about this news, subscribe and thumbs up this video so that others can find it as well.